Hi, my name is Catherine Pequet. Let's talk now about undesirable URLs. So when you get an email, that email might have actually URLs that are pointing to sites that are hacking site or spam site. Those will be handled automatically by your case. So case actually not only check also for anti-spam, but will also check for possible malicious content and also URL where you can be pointing to. That would be done through Outbreak Filter, which is upcoming in, an, uh, in, in one of the upcoming uh, recording, we'll discuss Outbreak Filters. However, what about if in the body of your email, there is n you have a URL, so you receive an email, there's a URL that says, hey, click on this link, but it's pointing to, let's say you're a, a high school student, and it's pointing to a cheating site. Uh, it's pointing to a place where you can get actually a copy of uh, an exam for the math, math exam you're supposed to have. So if you are the administrator of the email system uh, at, the, at the high school, providing that high school student would get actually their email from the school system, uh, you could actually filter out some of those URL. So you could go and apply to actually look for URL category and say if someone within my organization is receiving an email and that email belongs to a uh, cheating, school cheating website, I simply don't want to have that email uh, be delivered to my user. So where are we looking at for malicious URL? So we know that malicious URL in an email, if it's known to be malicious, that will be actually taken care by your case and it will also be taken care by your outbreak filter. That's for your inbound mail. And for the outbound mail, same thing. We would also, uh, we will have outbreak filters. You'll have case that might filter your email outbound to make sure that you are not the one pushing to the internet an email that would have a malicious URL in it. But what we're talking about now, it's more that the user will receive a uh, what looks like a benign email, like a normal email, but in that email there's a clickable URL that is not on the spammers list, that is not known to be a malicious URL, but simply something that you don't want your users to be allowed to click on because of the content they're going to see on that website if they eventually click on that URL. So what we want to do is actually go and uh, to do a configuration, you'll need to check that we are doing URL filtering and then we're going to go and apply actually some filters on the email. So, regarding the undesirable URL, we, um, they're automatically included in anti-spam and outbreak filters. We know that case, which has takes care of anti-spam and outbreak filters, will be looking every time we have a URL, it will take that URL and it will check against with uh, Talos to find out if that URL is taking us to a website that is known to be a phishing attack or where virus infection can be caught. But you can also use uh, your URL, your undesirable URL, that would be URL that are against your corporate policy. So they're not necessarily malicious, they're just against corporate policies. So maybe in your organization, you never want to have any of your users going and visiting hacking site. Well, you could create actually a content filter where your if your your uh, content filter will be discussed later on in a recording, but where your condition, so I said if, but it's actually your condition, would be if the URL happens to be pointing to a hacking site, then maybe what we want to do is simply drop that email or send a copy to our HR department. So under our content filters for globally for everyone, we would have actually that we don't want the URL, if it's going to a category known as hacking, block that email.
So we have to make sure that we want to actually use URL categorization and reputation filters of those websites. What's interesting to mention here is actually that um, our, uh, our, ESA, our ESA box is actually capitalizing on web-based reputation score. You're probably aware that Cisco sells actually not just the email secret appliance, but also sell what we call the web security appliance. And with the web security appliance, which came from the Iron Port acquisition, your organization has a proxy server, and the proxy server is a Cisco WSA. And your Cisco WSA is getting from Telos, actually, a list of all the URL, their categorization, and also their reputation score. Um, so first, categorization, easy to understand. Categorization would be uh, a, a certain website will fall into uh, gaming or into uh, hacking or into shopping category. What's a reputation score? Let's say that you give permission to your user to go and visit a real estate website. So there's a category, let's say real estate website and you're allowed to go and visit that category. But what about if that particular server that you want to go and check for real estate happens to be uh, infected right now? And that is known by Talos. So though in terms of your URL category, you don't have any problem letting your user typically go to a real estate website, you will actually block their request this time because you know that that particular address for a real estate server that they're trying to go and check happens to be infected. So there's two portion again to the web based reputation score. There is the uh, categorization, but also the score that we're getting. That, so we get those two, uh, two data, the two piece of data from Telos. So this is an example here where I would like to, to create a message fil uh, a content filter. And we will see actually content filters, in a, as I mentioned, in an upcoming recording. And with content filters, what we would like to do in our organization is that we would say that if we, are, uh, if we have a message coming for cheating and plagiarism, uh, if someone is trying to avoid uh, filtering, uh, like a, a web a proxy filtering, or if someone is trying to visit a hacking site, what will be my action? Well, my action would probably be that I want to drop actually that message. I don't want even my user to see that message. So we will use the condition, content filters condition to look for URL categorization. And if it's a categorization we don't like, we could decide to drop that message. We could decide actually maybe to quarantine that message and send a copy to HR. That would be a good, uh, uh, that would be uh, interesting actually if it's a school setting, you would say if you're going to a, a plagiarism website, we are actually quarantining the message and sending a copy to the principal. And uh, you could also uh, replace that URL instead for something uh, with a message that would simply have a text that says, sorry, you're not, there was a URL here, but you're not allowed to click on that URL. So what have we just discussed? We just discussed actually that we can use URL filtering uh, within your message. You can ask actually your ESA to look, to check for the URL, what is this category? And you could filter actually based on categorization that you don't want some URL to be clickable within an email to your user because it leads to objectionable content according to your organization policies. Thank you very much for listening.